Pangrak, who came down to Lightwood Creek at the bottom of the lake, is John Garrett, just below Sadler's, right there in view of the dam. He started the day 10th, Ron. He's climbed up. I think it's little. Yeah, it is. No, it ain't that bad. Bigger than what I got. That's the first yeah. offshore topwater fish we've seen all day. I see. I saw some trebles and heard some rattles, so I knew it had to be about that time, and it looks like one of the more built spotted bass we've seen, respectively. I mean, one for one for yeah. topwater fish, and it's yeah. a solid one. I mean, I expected whenever I got here this morning it was going to be, that's all it was going to be, and boy, was I wrong. John Garrett has over 10 pounds right now, and that calls for him. That'll help him in the right direction in sixth place. Hey, every spot is a couple more thousand dollars for these guys. Matt Pangrak said it last night. Ronnie, I'm going to try to get a limit and make a couple G's and put a couple G's in the bank, and then I'll go for all 40 grand for the top spot if I can. But right now, Tristan McCormick is holding off the rest of the field, and he's hooked up in the top spot. Caffeine shed. God, you see them on the graph? If they start doing that. Mm -hmm. I recognize that voice. Man Jake Latondras riding with Tristan McCormick today. Two and a half. Two and a half pounder. We'll call out a pound and three quarter fish, and that'll give him another three quarters of a pound right upgrade. Yes, Two and a half. I dialed in about as serious as you can get mm -hmm. on a great day of fishing. He knows that the chance at another classic berth is right there if he can knock it out. That'd be something qualifying through the college level one year, then the next year, do it in the opens. Probably the next year of the Elite Series. There you go. The trifecta. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Parlay it. <laughs> All day long, too.